OnePlus 8 Pro is an excellent phone at the price of which OnePlus is offering at least in India. I know the international price is extremely high and the pricing is not that great. It is priced at $999 so in India but it, it has been priced aggressively for the first time in the whole mobile industry I've seen something good at least they are better than Apple like they are charging a premium like they are charging more than 12k for their iPhone SE 2020 so at least some companies are taking this situation seriously and they are not charging a premium because we can't afford it really we can't so if you want to know about i i one plus sorry not iphone one plus 8 pro watch this video till the end i have divided this video into the pros and cons like i have divided into two segments so it would be easier for you judge the phone on the basis of the cons and your criterias if this phone is fulfilling your criterias go for it i have provided the link down in the description box i always forget to but if i have not provided you can obviously go to the amazon and you can search for it so if i have provided it please help the channel and help me out so that i can also create some good content for you and with the help of which you will be able to know which phones are better which technologies are coming and which is good for you and which is not so uh, that will help the channel a lot without any further delay i will be diving into the video and i will be explaining it to you guys this video will be long yes disclaimer this video is going to be long it can take minimum 10 to 20 minutes to explain the features and the things which you are getting at the price of 55k oneplus has done an excellent job okay i'm giving you the conclusion if you want to buy this phone at the price of 55k go for it you won't regret but still if you want to know more about oneplus 8 pro I, this video is for you if you don't want to know and you want a conclusion don't watch the video till the end just go and buy it right now so without any further delay let's dive into the video and let's see which things are good and which things are not so let's do it i will be directly jumping into the processor of oneplus 8 pro oneplus 8 pro is using qualcomm's snapdragon 865 processor which is the best right now it is at par or sometimes it is better than a 13, 13 bionic chip which is made by apple and that is almost at par in some cases or better than that also in some cases so 865 is an excellent chipset for iphone no not for iphone for oneplus 8 pro on top of that you will get 5g so for more three or four years you should not worry about at the price point of 55k you are getting 865 the top of the line chipset on top of that you are getting 5g so 5g is like far ahead at least india is not getting as soon as it will take more than two to five years so it is not yet ready in india and the situation is not that good right now so no one can bring that technology right now so it's okay at least you're future ready I, they have provided ip68 certification this time oneplus always used to give some kind of the pro some kind of protection to their phones always i have seen since oneplus 3t like they are providing some of of the things like either they are giving nano coating that helps water to repellent quite well so that it do doesn't damage the internals and they are used to give almost all the things which used to protect which should protect your phone from any kind of spillage or any kind of rain or any kind of things they used to give rubber coatings around the sim card tray around the headphone jack if you see or if you watch jerry riggs yes my fellow mate Jerry Rick, yes, he has 
shown you several times in his video, especially the teardown at soft to generic everything. Yes, he used to show you. So you have seen several videos that OnePlus used to give. Now you have proper IP68 certification. Yes, that is costing you few of the few of your bucks. So yes, that is costing you. So these are the two pros which I have talked about. And there are many things like they have provided wireless charging of best best I've ever seen in a phone right now. 30 watts. It is almost as fast as their wired charging solution. Like this is awesome, mind blowing. But yes, you have to separately buy that wireless charger. That will cost you around five to six K. Yes. I don't know the pricing, but it should be around five to six K at least. So these are, these are the three pros. The next one is UFS 3.0 storage. That is excellent, excellent. Even they are using top of the line RAM solution, which is DDR5, yes. So that is also excellent. UFS 3.1 is also available in the highest end model. So woof, the specs are making crazy. Like they are excellent at the price point which they are offering right now. Even I am planning for that. Trust me, even you might see an unboxing of that video. I mean, like you can see the, the unboxing of that phone in this channel. When I can't guarantee you that, but you can see or you can't also. That depends on my mood. Uh, that depends on the companies. Uh, so let's see. Hope for the best, fingers crossed. So the next thing is, what shall I say? Like everything is is as good as a flagship phone, like Sam, Sam, Samsung's phone, top end phones or Apple's flagship, so called flagship. So things are good, quite enough. You know the specifications, you know most of the pros, but still I would be talking about a few more. Like the haptic engine has been improved and it is awesome. It is awesome. That, yes, obviously it can't replace your, the normal... Let, let me show it to you. Let me show it to you. Physical buttons, yes. The feel and feedback is not as equal to physical buttons, but the haptic engine, engine is good. Now it is refined and it is doing a far more good job or better job than the previous years OnePlus 70 Pro or the OnePlus 7 Pro. So what else shall I say about that phone? Everything is nice. I'm more concerned about the cons. Shall I share it to you? First, it doesn't have a headphone jack. Second, they haven't included always on display. Come on OnePlus, you have an AMOLED screen. You are giving uh, under display fingerprint scanner. You are giving hole punch camera. You are giving everything. Your display is amazing. Like it is getting what, what not. So you are giving everything, but you are not giving the always on display, which I love the most. And people are missing it. And especially those who are using a Samsung phone, they will miss it madly because it is an awesome feature. You should give it to the consumers. Consumers, you should tag OnePlus or you should spam OnePlus on their Twitter account right now. Go to their Twitter account and spam them. Let them give one software upgrade which will enable the always on display. So that is that was the con. Next, the wireless charging is slower than the wired charging solution, but it is not as slow as others. I won't name them, but others. So the reverse wireless charging is not that fast. Also, the battery life is not the best, but it is not the worst. So the battery life will be average and if you are using the Quad HD plus resolution screen on top of that 120 hertz 
refresh rate don't expect a great battery life you will get you will you have to charge it every evening or if you are a hardcore user like me i have to charge my phone twice so yeah, that will be a pain in your ass but they have provided one of the fastest charging solutions so that will make up so these are all the cons i don't see any kind of cons right now yes i don't have the phone i'm just talking about all the things which are problematic right now so please don't judge me and don't judge this video thanks for watching i will see you in the next video till then peace out be safe stay within your home and within the territory of your home don't go outside uselessly and use my like don't go outside to buy cigarettes and to drink you will not get it by the way but still don't go till then peace out be safe stay safe